Hello, you are welcome again to the channel. My name is Blessing Ejechi. Today I want to share with you a kind of heart that you are going to imbibe. When you cultivate this kind of heart, it is going to help you to become a kind of person that everybody will like to associate with. People will see you as a good person. Everybody will love to associate with you. And God will see you as a responsible person. As a father, you have this kind of heart. Your children will love you. You are going to make a lot of impact in your family and in your environment. You are also a mother. You cultivate this kind of heart. Your children will call you blessed. Your children will call you virtuous. In fact, everybody around you, you are a leader. You also have this kind of heart. You are, you are going to influence a lot of people. And you are going to get promoted every day. You know, somebody said the reward for good work is more work. You see that people regard this as faithfulness. And that quality is a seeking heart. When you cultivate a seeking heart, you will see that nobody will become irresponsible around you. This is the kind of heart that God had that he is and will make him to become God continually in our lives today. You remember the story of the prodigal son. The Bible told us that this child lived a righteous life. He had a lot of trouble that he gave to his father. One day, this child went to the father and demanded that his father should divide his properties and give him the one that falls to him. The father did just as the son requested. But after many days or years that the son may have squandered everything that he, he had received from his father, he decided that he was going to go back to his father. And you know what intrigued me? The father of this child was sitting in his compound waiting for the day that his son is going to return home. He was sitting and seeking for his son. And the Bible told us that eventually when he saw his son, the father was the one that ran. He ran to meet his son and embraced him. He did not say, oh, my son, you have squandered everything as you are coming if I don't come to this house. He did not do so. He had a seeking heart. And because of that, the son had a very remorseful heart. He was very remorseful. Instead of him finding fault in the life of his son, he did not find fault. Even when his son has squandered everything that he had, he did not blame his son. Instead, he wants him to come back home so that he can become more responsible than the way he was. The same story also goes with the lost sheep. The Bible told us that a man had 100 sheep and when he lost one of them, he decided to go back to look for that one that was lost. He left 99 in wilderness. That one that strayed, he went to look for it. And when he found it, the Bible said there was joy. He called his neighbors to say, come and rejoice with me because I have found my sheep which was lost. God is interested in the, in the salvation of people. The same thing that God expects us to do. God expects us to be interested in the salvation of people. He does not want us to nail and crucify people. He doesn't want us to set people away from salvation. He does not want us to 
label them as they are bad people. There is nobody that is not bad. Even if your child is bad, you can still have a place in your heart that you draw your child closer to yourself. That is the same way God does. The Bible told us in the book of Luke chapter 19 verse 10, he said, Jesus said of himself, the son of man came to seek and to save the lost. Jesus said, I have come to save and to seek the lost. If you have a seeking heart, you will not find fault in people. If you have a seeking heart, you will not drive people away from you. Those things that drive people away from you are the things that you will have to accommodate. I am not saying you must condone with every form of uh, wickedness in the lives of people. No. But you should have a way of accommodating people. You should have a way of accepting people just the way they are. People are weak by nature. There is nobody that is 100% perfect. So if people are not 100% perfect, they have weakness. You must learn to make provision in the lives of people. And when you make this provision, you will see that people will love you, people will love to come to you, and people will love to associate with you. Why? Because they know that they, are, they will be free with you. They know that when they come to you, you will not crucify them. If you develop this kind of heart, you will see that your life will begin to go just the way God wants it to be. God bless you. Please, if you are new to this channel, I would like you to subscribe. The Lord bless you.